Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode on this Sunday morning. Hopefully you guys enjoy the GP40-2 running some freight around the yard. Today is sort of a failure when it comes to what I wanted to achieve, but I can't always be perfect. And that's just how this hobby goes sometimes. So I do hope you guys come along and see what I get into. And as always, I do thank you guys very much for being here. All right, so like I said last episode, we're gonna be working on this Dairy Queen restaurant area. In the end, I just don't like how it turns out, but we'll go along as usual. Starting with marking down the area in which I wanna pave. This time around, I'll be using polystyrene as my foundation. Here, I'm cutting down to size all of my pieces with a hobby knife. And I actually do really like using polystyrene, and I do plan to use it a lot more in the future when I get into more scratch building. Pieces are placed down, and now I have a better understanding of what it's going to look like in the end. The polystyrene makes for a perfectly flat surface, which is a plus. You just won't have the creative freedom that you do with joint compound. And when I say creative freedom, I mean like potholes and dents and stuff like that. I did also paint the front awnings of the building with this asphalt paint by Woodland Scenics. It did actually come out pretty nice and is a step closer now to looking like the prototype. The paint I'm gonna be using today to get the job done will be these two right here. Both of them are matte paint, of course. Then I do begin to paint. First is to paint all the pieces fully with the gray. After I do that, I do go in very lightly and from a good distance with the matte black paint. This allows for more of a realistic texture. To dull down the black paint, I did go back with the gray to kind of even things out. So we are back inside now, and here's where I kind of realized that I didn't actually like the color. Although it did come out alright, the gray is just slightly off for my liking. It is almost like there's some kind of blue tint to the gray, which I obviously do not like. I would love to hear you guys' opinions down below. So as I thought about it, I did decide to glue them all down anyways. And I do realize that isn't the greatest idea, but I knew for sure that I could cover it all up pretty easy. Well, in the end, after sitting back and looking at it for a little while, I am just not satisfied with the color. The gray of this actual parking lot just doesn't match the other grays on the layout. And to be honest, I'd rather not try to hunt down a gray paint that I like, because that might get expensive. So it's going to be time to go back to the drawing board. So in the end, I did actually learn a little bit more about the paint and using the polystyrene as a foundation. I just don't have an airbrush right now, so I'm not really able to achieve that certain color that I'm actually trying to get after. One day I do plan to get an airbrush, so we'll have to do that in the future. Either way, I do hope you guys still enjoy this little episode of me just kind of working things out on my own layout. So on that note, I will see you guys in the next week's episode, and hopefully we actually have a solid plan, which I think we will. <laughs>